Karolinski. My former husband is a sadistic Muslim Pakistani. No one has any idea. This is all too difficult. Kindly, Julia. Bizarre details emerging. His mother's online dating life is coming under scrutiny. A sugar baby is a woman looking for a sugar daddy, a woman who want to meet a wealthy man. She has a child that's missing, and she's very, very upset. Come on, guys. While well, her baby is still out there missing? My attorney has forbid me from speaking about the ongoing investigation. My former husband's allegations are without merit. Solomon is deceptive. What she's trying to do is divert herself from what's happening in her life. Has refused to cooperate with detectives. She's not searching for her son. Where is Sky Metalala? Good evening. I'm Nancy Grace. I want to thank you for being with us. Bombshell tonight. Mystery surrounding the disappearance of a two-year-old boy vanishing from mommy's Acura sports car after she claims to run out of gas. After hiding out for weeks instead of talking to police, in the last hours, we uncover mommy not talking to cops, not taking a polygraph, but feeding information to network reporters, claiming her husband being Pakistani descent has something to do with baby Sky's disappearance, that he's, quote, deceptive and sadistic, that he has, quote, something to do with the baby's disappearance. But hold on, Mommy. You're the one with baby Sky when he vanishes, not Dad. The recent surveillance photos of Julia are dramatically different from the photos from her accounts on social media websites. The gray sweatsuit she's seen wearing in these photos is the same outfit she was wearing the morning Sky disappeared. That's why we feel it's important to get these photos out. How did she deal with baby Sky's poopy pants? Store it on site or right away, or right away. Aims to connect singles with so-called sugar daddies. We can't understand how anyone would leave a sick child in the car for over an hour. This story does not make any sense. The story doesn't make any sense. She knows exactly what happened to the child. Actually, when we came home, uh, you would have to go right in the shower. This obsessive compulsive disorder your wife has. I understand that she would not let you use the commode. I wasn't allowed to. I wasn't allowed to. Julia, please, do you have any idea where Sky is? No. Do you think your husband was involved? Yes. What happened the morning Sky disappeared? Because cops say car wasn't out of gas. Mommy refuses to talk to cops, hiding out at a local hotel, but yet she's feeding information to reporters, to network reporters, blaming her husband being Pakistani descent, claiming he's deceptive and sadistic, that he's got something to do with the baby's disappearance. Well, mommy's the one with the baby when he's left strapped in a car seat on the side of the road. Daddy was nowhere around. We are taking your calls in the search for two-year-old baby Sky. Out to you, Alexis Weed. Explain to me, Mommy is logging on to her her friend finder or seekingarrangement.com website instead of talking to cops or taking a poly while Daddy volunteers for two polygraphs? Mommy feeding information to network reporters instead of police. What the hay is going on, Alexis? Yeah, Nancy, she's all over the web. She's on her email accounts. She's on this seekingarrangement.com where she's supposedly, according to this profile that appears to be set up by her, she's seeking a sugar daddy. And she's on the website, Nancy, as most recently as Friday evening at 7, almost 8 o'clock at night. She's also talking to this ABC reporter, um, as ABC is saying, that she has now responded to to emails from ABC. And in the last hours, we learned police have released to the public surveillance photos of mommy in the hours before baby Sky disappears. Take a look. Unleash the lawyers. Joining us tonight, Atlanta defense attorney Daryl Cohen out of our New York studios. Renowned defense attorney Alex Sanchez. So, Alex. Daddy's lined up for not one, but two voluntary polygraphs. We're going to hear from him in just a moment. He's talked to police ad nauseum. Mommy won't talk to cops, won't take a poly, but she's feeding information to network reporters. Hello? What's the problem, you know, Alex? You know, I think the police are uh, probably... But, but, but what? I think the police are probably concluding that this is some type of, you know, sick custody dispute. I doubt if they think there's a murder, but they probably believe she took the kid and she's hiding the kid with somebody else 
and she's trying to shift the blame from him. They're in the middle of a horrible custody dispute. Really? She hates the husband. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a motive for, for, for killing the kid. So I think it's a, basically a sick custody dispute, and she thinks she's going to get away with it. That's what I think it is. Let's take another look at the photos cops have just released of mommy and baby in the days before baby Sky goes missing. Alexis, what can you tell us about these? Nancy, there's some surveillance photos that police have now uh, let out to the public. They say that these photos, these surveillance photos, images were taken in the hours and days leading up to Skye's disappearance. They show the mom. She's alone. She appears to be at a checkout counter. She's also shown walking out of some double doors with some bags in hand. In none of these surveillance images, Nancy, do we see Skye anywhere. She's also dressed in this gray sweatsuit, and this is the attire that police say they believe she was wearing the day that Sky was reported missing, so it could be that these truly are images within the hours of when Sky vanished. Daryl, what kind of custody dispute is there when mommy doesn't even show up to dispute custody? She didn't even try to get her four-year-old girl back. She was a no-show. Nancy, it's pretty obvious this woman's unbalanced, but that doesn't make her a bad person. It makes her a screwed up person. It makes her a person that is not making sense. This is a person who left her kid. Why she left him? Who knows? Maybe he was so sick that she didn't want to take him with her. Did she really run out of gas? Maybe the car wasn't working. She Put thought she up, was please. running out of gas. Put him up. This Put woman him up. is Daryl. Yes. Please, please, please. I respect the both of you too much to hear this inane conversation because you both are renowned veteran trial lawyers. Cohen, you were a prosecutor before you went to the other side. Sanchez, you've tried a million cases. So don't try to hoodwink the viewers, okay? Because we already know, you two know, we've discussed it off air. Cops tested her car. She had nearly three gallons of gas. This car, how much did it get, Matt? Almost uh, 30 ga miles to the gallon. And there's nothing wrong with the car. They test drove it. There's no engine problem. One of the doors unlocked. Plenty of gas. So... That's all BS, all right? So, so don't start. Just show us a little respect and try to work with the truth, Daryl. Okay, hit me. All right, Nancy, number one, you talk about a polygraph. I would never allow uh -huh. a client to take a polygraph, and you've been there and you know it, that the authorities always weigh a polygraph against the person who takes it, unless they want him wait, or her wait, to pass rephrase, it. Wait, wait, rephrase, rephrase. You all mean right. they flunk it. Yeah, and either I've asked not, people many times inconclusive, to get polygraphs. Really? I don't have and a problem with a polygraph. Not as a prosecutor, but as a defense lawyer, you never want your client to take a polygraph because okay. it's either going to be inconclusive or they're going to fail it. So let's Point throw that taken, out the go door. Ahead. All right, let's throw that Agree. out the door. Now she's doing I'm dumb things. I'm not throwing things. it out the door because I think it's highly relevant that mommy won't even sit for a polygraph when daddy's sat for two. I know what you and Sanchez think. You never want a, a possible target or suspect, mommy not a suspect, to take a poly. But what I'm talking about, can I just steer you back to the middle of the road, Cohen? We'll try. All right. At least Sanchez tried. Just go with why mommy didn't show up to get her four-year-old daughter out of foster care. Like one of you would leave your kid in foster care. Over my dead cold body would I have one of my children in foster care. All right? Na Nancy, at best, what? at best, she's using bad judgment. Why didn't she take her kid out of foster care? Once again, the press can come out and say, look, she's got one child, the other child's missing. Look what she's done. So what do you do? Well, let's hear what daddy has to say about mommy's frame of mind. Daddy? Well, um, she has a, a pattern of, of, of cleaning. Uh, she cannot stand dust over the counters. So uh, for her to uh, be at ease, uh, she would need to wipe out uh, every surface uh, uh, of the house so, so she wouldn't see any dust. Should I go okay, what is this business Without about getting... her refusing to let you use the commode um sorry you can tell her okay um she's uh okay uh she has uh it's very hard to talk about this. Um, 
she... I know that you are upset. I understand that she would not let you use the commode. What happened? I wasn't allowed to. I, I, I wasn't allowed to. But why? I just wasn't allowed to. Did she think that you would uh, leave germs? Was she that obsessed with cleaning? Um, well, I mean, she, she used it. That wasn't a problem. Um, but she just told me I couldn't use it. When you hear this story, um, you have to scratch your head and wonder why. Seekingarrangement.com. She was looking for a wealthy guy who could uh, really take care of her and, uh, um, and pamper her. With so-called sugar daddies. Still many, many questions about the car and her actions. The mother is the last to have seen the child. This woman had thoughts that would not leave her mind. Our daily lives were like hell. OCD, severe OCD. When they examined the car, they found 2.2 gallons of gas still in the tank. And if that casts suspicion on Julia, I think this, it's the facts speaking, not us. Baby Sky is gone. Abducted by a stranger? Was he hurt or just hidden away by a friend or family member? It's a three-pronged search, locally, nationally, and internationally. What we have here is a genuine mystery of a missing child. We are taking your calls. New developments in the search for baby Sky to Joe Gomez, KTRH. Joe, mommy, instead of taking a poly or talking to police or even helping the search for her son that she left strapped in a car seat on the side of the road, instead of going to court, even showing up to get her daughter, her four-year-old girl, out of foster care, instead, mommy's online checking her profile on a dating website where she's looking for a man who can pay her 5000 a month. She's doing that, and she's feeding information to network reporters, blaming her husband, saying he's Pakistani, that somehow that's the problem, that he's sadistic and deceptive, that that's the that's problem, right. that he's responsible for baby Sky's disappearance. She's the one who was with the baby and left him behind in the car, Joe Gomez. That's, uh, that's right, Nancy. She seems to be enjoying herself, doesn't she? Uh, uh, all this attention that she's getting, feeding that ABC News reporter those uh, th those tips, uh, telling him uh, telling him that you know she that she thought her, her husband was a sadistic Muslim Pakistani. What does that have to do with anything? She was the one who reportedly had left her little baby boy strapped to the back seat of that car, all alone on the side of the road on a frigid on a frigid day, walking walking miles away, coming back, and then he's gone. She was the one that that would be. To, to theoretically to blame here, why is she feeding this information out and trying to attack her, her former husband? Why do you think that is, Nancy? You know, to Victoria Taft, a uh, talk show host on KPAM, Victoria joining us from Portland. Victoria, thank you for being with us. Let's follow up with what Joe Gomez has to say from KTRH. Why is she pointing the finger? It's almost like, look everywhere but here at me. What, what are you hearing, Victoria Taft? Well, the one thing that I would bring back up about this issue of the Muslim Pakistani thing, she thinks that she's trying to hurl some sort of, uh, you know, words of war against her husband. But his, her mother, in one of the declarations she made in a court proceeding, had talked about how her Pakistani-born husband uh, expected to, at some point in time, go back to Pakistan, but wanted U.S. citizenship, and that's why he married her. I think that's something worth, worth pursuing. But the other thing is, of course, she wants all eyes off her, and she wants someone else to take the rap for this. Her, her answers make no sense, Nancy, as you well know. There's a woman with OCD who cares about specks of dirt that she relentlessly tracks down in her kitchen and her bathroom, and yet she won't even get out of a hotel to relentlessly track down her son. I'll tell you that there is a sufficient amount of gas to travel an ample distance to several gas stations. Have you looked on that Facebook site? Practically no pictures of baby Sky. It's all about the four-year-old little girl. And she said it so much that uh, Miley started to repeat, uh, I want to kill myself.
she has a, a pattern of, of, of cleaning. Uh, she cannot stand dust over the counters. So uh, for her to uh, be at ease, uh, she would need to wipe out uh, every surface uh, uh, of the house so, so she wouldn't see any dust. We are taking your calls while mommy refuses to talk to police about her missing two-year-old boy she left behind strapped in a car seat on the side of the road. She is feeding information to network reporters. She has time to do that. And interesting, she's all willing, let's see the transcript list, to point the finger at daddy who was nowhere around when the boy goes missing. But then when the reporter wisely asks, what about the fact that your car had gas in it and it was working? Mommy never responds to that question. Let's see the transcript, Liz. We are taking your calls out to Caddy in Illinois. Hi, Caddy. What's your question? Hi. Thank you for taking my call. I wondered if her OCD could have caused her to somehow hurt this baby. Well, that is a fear many of us have had, too. Dr. Paula Bloom, clinical psychologist and author of Why Does He Do That? Why Does She Do That? Paula, thank you for being with us. That's been a concern all along because we've all said two-year-old boys are pooping, vomiting, muddy machines. Right. It's true. Listen, you know, people are using the term obsessive compulsive and sometimes people use that in layman's terms. It's sort of a little bit of a specific meaning as a psychologist. You know, obsessive compulsiveness is two things. It's the obsession, which is thoughts that you can't get out of your head, and the compulsion, which is the behavior. I think that it's a bit of a stretch to go from this person doesn't like dust on their countertops to they hurt their child because the child produces a lot of germs. I do want to say something about this commode issue. I would be curious to know if she did not let him use the toilet once the custody dispute happened, if he wasn't living in the home anymore. A lot of times when people are going through a bitter divorce, they don't even want the person in their house. So I'm not sure if he was living with uh, her at the time. Paula, I know the answer to that. That was apparently before the divorce. Oh, okay. Well, then that's some information to not let somebody in your home use the toilet. But I wouldn't necessarily make the leap to go from this person has a germ issue. But what difference does it make? What difference, Paula, do, do you think it had to do with his body? She thought that was dirty or him using the bathroom was dirty? Right. It could be that. It could be the obsessions. Or it could be control issues. It could be, you know, when you're going through a divorce or you're starting to go through a divorce, you can feel very disgusted by your partner. I'm not endorsing so, Paula, what she what did. Paula, what do you think she did if that two-year-old boy wet his pants back there in the car seat that day? What do you think happened, Paula? You know, listen, a lot of times parents can get very frustrated. But again, I wouldn't assume that because somebody has OCD, they're going to hurt their kid. Where is Sky? Police say his mother, Julia Buryakova is still not responding to questions about the case. We can't understand how anyone would leave a sick child in the car for over an hour. This story does not make any sense. The story doesn't make any sense. Actually, when we came home, uh, you would have to go right in the shower. I've read and watched the reports about the dating site myself, and I can tell you I have to be very sensitive. She was looking for a wealthy guy who could uh, really take care of her and, uh, um, and pamper her. When you hear this story, um, you have to scratch your head and wonder, why? And she claimed to leave Sky in a car. I do believe Julia has a, she is responsible. Which ran out of gas and then returned to find him missing. What mother does this? The police do not have enough evidence to arrest her. She's not searching for her own child. She's refusing to cooperate. Very, very worrisome. The search for Sky. Police seem to believe the case hinges less on searching and still on Julia. Mommy doesn't have time to talk to cops, won't take a polygraph, although daddy's taken two voluntary polygraphs, goes online repeatedly looking for a sugar daddy that can pay her up to $5,000 a month. This is while the nation's searching for baby Sky, but makes time to feed information to a network reporter claiming the baby's disappearance is her husband's fault because he's Pakistani, because he's sadistic and deceptive, she says. He has something to do with it. Hold on, Mommy. Daddy wasn't there when the baby was strapped in a car seat and left on the side of the road. You were. 
we are taking your calls. I want to go quickly to Joe Gomez, KTRH. What can you tell me? We are just learning about items found in a park potentially connected to the disappearance of Baby Sky. Where is the park and what are the items? It's very disturbing. This is a park in Kirkland, Nancy. We don't know exactly what items were found, but we do know that police were using rakes and shovels. Very strange. Rakes and shovels. This could, shovels. This could potentially be a very, very grim discovery, Nancy. Why else would they need a, need a shovel in a park, I presume, to dig? I mean, we can put two and two together. What kind of evidence do you think they found? Alexis Weed, is that correct? Cops using rakes and shovels to find items of interest connected to Sky's case in a local park? Yes, Nancy, and they even sent a forensics team to go look at some of these items. This is a park about five miles west of the mother's home. They've sent some items for analysis. We don't know the results yet, but, Nancy, this park was closed to the public all the while that they searched. They searched day into the night using additional searchlights so they could continue after dark. Victoria Taft joining us from 860 KPAM. Victoria, where is this park in relation to Mommy's apartment, this park where cops are digging things up with rakes and shovels? Nancy, it's in Kirkland. She lives in Redmond. Her husband lives in Kirkland. So this is a place with which she is familiar, about five miles away from her home. And that's where they are now searching. And we just uh, man mentioned about the rake issue. It is fall and it is a very leafy on the ground around the Pacific Northwest right now. So I can see why they might need rakes to get rid of some of the, uh, the leaves that have fallen in that park just to see what's underneath them. You know what, Victoria, I hope is just to get rid of leaves and not that they are digging for something in the park. Alexis, did you tell me that they uh, corded off the park and were digging? Yes, this park is called Watershed Park. They closed it down to the public during the search, and they searched all the way into the night using additional searchlights so they could keep on going. With me, Pat Brown, criminal profiler, author of The Profiler, joining us out of D.C. What about it, Pat? Okay, Nancy, I have a couple things. One is, this woman reminds me of somebody who has more likely to have a narcissistic personality disorder and possible Munchausen syndrome. She likes to be the victim. Look, if, if she was that paranoid about her husband, you know, stalking her and being devious, she wouldn't have left her baby in the car so he could have followed her and grabbed the kid. So that's a bogus. Now, the next thing, I do have a possible motive. She's on this supposed dating site. I'm sorry, that's a prostitution site. She's not looking to marry a millionaire. She's looking for a guy to pay her $5,000 a month for sex. And here's a problem. When you go on there, and she said she had two children, the boy and the girl, sometimes guys don't want to pick up a woman, have to deal with her, pay her if she's going to have two little kids around. If you get rid of the little boy, they're much more accepting of a woman with a little girl, just a little girl. Everyone, we are taking your calls. Speaking of the different relationship between mommy and a boy, a baby boy, and mommy and a baby girl that Pat Brown just brought up, let's hear from Daddy about whether mommy was expecting a baby at all, Daddy. He wasn't planned. Uh, uh, he just came forward. Um, so if you're asking me, did we plan to have a second child, uh, I would say no. And Sky was a, was a blessing. Uh, uh, I, I love Sky. I could not imagine not having him in my life. He's such a dude. I like, I love him. To Dr. Kathleen London, physician, New York Presbyterian Hospital, Professor, Will Cornell College. Dr. London... You have dealt with so many moms in various predicaments. An unplanned pregnancy with a mom who is devastatingly OCD, has a baby boy. What's the equation, Dr. London? I mean, it definitely does not add up to somebody who's going to be in a happy place. She's going through a bitter custody dispute, wants to be, um, wants to be supported, you know, is looking for somebody to take care of her. I, this whole notion that, that she would even put a story up that she left her child in the car like that was acceptable. Something here, this woman is very, very disturbed. Um, 
I, I just uh, on every level, and and uh, she seems to the fact that she wouldn't let her husband use the commode that she has these these OCD issues. Something's adding up here that is disturbing, and and it makes me wonder if something awful has happened here. Um, and it's very again, sad. mommy. With us, Dr. Kathleen London joining us out of New York. Mommy has not been named a suspect or a person of interest. Joining me right now, Ben Levitan, telecommunications expert out of Raleigh, North Carolina. His research uncovers that Mommy's checking in at all hours of the day or night on her dating website, while the rest of the country looks for baby Sky. Ben Levitan, what do you know about her last login? Was it on Friday night? That's right, Nancy. Uh, she logged in at uh, 5 of 8, 7.55 Pacific Time, uh, onto the Seeking Arrangements website. And prior to that, she uh, logged in on the 17th at uh, about, uh, about uh, 5 o'clock, uh, nearly 6 o'clock Pacific. And on the day before, the 16th, she logs in at 3.30 in the morning. She's spending a lot of time on this site, uh, and that's as far back as I've been following. However, I also found that she spends a lot of time on the computer. On the 17th, which is Thursday night, she uploaded 30 photographs of her little girl onto, um, onto uh, a um, photo-sharing site called Flickr. And she's obsessive about Flickr. This year so far, I've counted that she's uploaded over 700 photos to Flickr, and most of them are well, the little girl. Wait a minute. When does she upload the 30 photos? It, uh, on Flickr, the date says uploaded on the 17th of November, which is uh, 30 of them were uploaded that day that I count. Also, that would be Thursday night, and that's also the night that she uh, was on Seeking Arrangements. At about so uh, 551. She is ben Levitan time. out of Raleigh telling us mommy's uploading dozens of pictures of her little girl onto a internet photo album while the rest of her con the country is looking for her little boy who she left strapped in a car seat on the side of the road. Quick break, everyone, but I want to remind you that the family album. Police are suspicious of Julia Biryakova's story. She claimed to leave Sky in a car. And she claims while well, she went for gas. And then returned to find him missing. It's no sign of Sky. We feel Julia can help us. Mommy refuses to talk to cops. The child's still missing. And we're hoping she'll come in and talk to us. She had no trouble going on Facebook, accepting new friends. And we can't understand how anyone would leave a sick child in the car um, and then and just leave her there for over an hour. The police do not have enough evidence to arrest her. She's not searching for her own child. She's refusing to cooperate. Very, very worrisome. The search for Scott. Police seem to believe the case hinges less on searching and still on Julia. Where is two-year-old baby Sky? We are taking your calls to Tammy in Maryland. Hi, Tammy. What's your question? Hi, Nancy Grace. I want to tell you I really like watching your show, and your children are beautiful. They're so precious. Thank My you. question Thank to you, you so is, much. I want to know if her husband has taken a second lie detector test, and if so, what it came out as. And secondly, do you think this is going to be another Casey Anthony case? Good question, Tammy and Marilyn. To Victoria Taff, talk show host, 860 KPAM. Victoria, what do we know about Daddy's two polygraphs? I know they were both voluntary. They were both voluntary, that's right. The first one was inconclusive, and the second one, well, it was inconclusive as well. And I, that's my understanding. And the thing is, is that the father is more than willing to do it. The mother has so far not done it. So that's the bone of contention here. You know, Tammy and Marilyn ask another good question. Unleash your lawyers, Alex Sanchez, Daryl Cohen. Daryl, Tammy wants to know, oh. is this going to be another top mom case? What do you think, Daryl? Boy, I certainly hope not because Casey Anthony is the worst of the worst of the worst. But I still say that at this moment, this woman has done stupid things, but nothing to indicate that she's done something criminal other than maybe leaving her child that was ill and she went to get 
gas, or so she said. So I don't see this at this point as being that terrible, and hopefully we'll find this kid, and she'll have, the mother will have some reasonable explanation as to why she did what she did. But right now, all she's doing is, I'm, I'm hurrying, I, I don't know what else to do, so I'm going to talk to this ABC reporter, and I don't have to talk to him, I can email him. You know, Alex Sanchez, I like the way Cohen just tosses that off, she went to go get gas, or so she said, she didn't need gas in her car. Cops have already confirmed that. There's nothing wrong with her car. And Sanchez, what do you make of her, this is in the last couple of days, uploading dozens of photos of her little girl onto a family internet album, but nothing, this is as we're all trying to find the baby boy, the two-year-old. You know, there's something very sick going on in this uh, particular household of hers. And I'd like to know um, when uh, she was barring a husband from using the commode, you know, what alternative arrangements uh, he made to resolve that particular issue. Maybe you can ask him that question. But in terms of this particular case, you know, I think it's going to be much ado about nothing. I think that she, you know, basically took that kid, is secreting that kid somewhere with a friend or somebody, and thinks that she's going to avoid, uh, you know, the, the child ending up in the custody of the father. I don't think there's any evidence of a criminal, of a crime at this point. Why would anybody believe that she went to a park, she hates well, dirt, number one, and is digging leaving and burying your baby a baby on there. the side of the road? Yeah, I whoa, think that, yeah, look, I think we agree Ele that's... Evidence of a crime plus, and that's is not, criminal we, negligence and we, child we agree, abuse, child Nancy, neglect. We agree well, you that's just said nonsense. no crime. Well, okay, that may be the crime, but in terms of murder, I don't think there's a crime of murder. I think there's a crime of her secreting the kid <laughs> somewhere else so she can take the kid for herself. You know what? There's absolutely no evidence that this child has been hidden anywhere. Cops have called off any type of international search to Nancy in Colorado. Nancy, what's your question? First of all, Nancy, let me tell you, I voted for you every week on Dancing with the Stars. I love you so much. But a couple things really bother Thank me you. about this case. It bothers me that when you ask the husband a question, he stutters all the time and you have to think about his answer, which makes me think he's untruthful. And the second thing is, you know, they're each from different countries. And a lot of times they take their boys when things are happening and send them to their home country so they're safe. And that bothers me. Well, we know Daddy was not there when the baby went missing. Joe Gomez, KTRH, doesn't, hasn't Daddy shown he's got an alibi at the time the baby goes missing? Yeah, we believe he does have an alibi. You know, it's also important to know this guy has taken polygraphs, he's volunteered, I mean, he's been, he's been on your show, Nancy, you, you, you were grilling him just the other night, and, uh, I mean, he's been very forthcoming with a lot of information, I mean, we don't have any information at all that would suggest that he in any way took little baby Sky. None at all, and to Victoria Taft, uh, talk show host, KPAM, we know that cops were holding on to mommy's apartment and not releasing the apartment, she couldn't get back in. Apparently, they're convinced there was trace evidence that they had missed and were still looking. Where is mommy? Well, last time I checked, she was in a hotel, secreted herself somewhere, and uh, watching the world revolve around her and paying no attention to where her son is, talking a lot on the Internet Again. and looking for a sugar daddy. Again, mommy, not a suspect. Paula Bloom, psychologist, what does it mean to you that mommy's dragging in her husband be, being Pakistani and or Muslim, and that somehow that has something to do with the baby's disappearance? Yeah, I don't like that. It just feels like, you know, with all of this stuff, with 9-11, it just seems like she's kind of preying on people's worries and fears and prejudices. I don't like that. The other thing I find kind of interesting, she recently uploaded 30 pictures of her daughter to something where this reporter, anybody could access it. If you're worried about your, the safety of your kids, you tend not to post tons of pictures in public places of them. You know, another thing, Paula Bloom, very quickly, she's very willing to tell reporters that her husband is involved in the baby's disappearance, but then when they ask her about her car having gas and working perfectly fine when she leaves it on the side of the road, she refuses to answer those questions. Yeah, I, I just find that incredibly strange. And the idea is if she was blaming him in the context of giving tons of information and being transparent, that's one thing. But if that's the only message she's getting out there, I don't like it. Let's take another look at the photos cops have just released of mommy and baby in the days before baby Sky goes missing. Alexis, what can you tell us about these?
Nancy, there's some surveillance photos that police have now uh, let out to the public. They say that these photos, these surveillance photos, images were taken in the hours and days leading up to Sky's disappearance. They show the mom. She's alone. She appears to be at a checkout counter. She's also shown walking out of some double doors with some bags in hand. In none of these surveillance images, Nancy, do we see Sky anywhere. She's also dressed in this gray sweatsuit, and this is the attire that police say they believe she was wearing the day that Sky was reported missing. So it could be that these truly are images within the hours of when Sky vanished. This is your son who's missing. You know, it's our son who's who's not here. And uh, if you know anything, um, please uh, let the authorities know so uh, they can go and get him. Welcome back. The search for baby Sky in high gear. A lot of you have written and called in wanting to know if mommy's obsessive compulsive disorder applied to the children. What about it, daddy? Yeah, they washing of the hands was was uh, very important. Uh, we had to wash our hands uh, wh when uh, we came from. Uh, if we left, let's say when it was in my mom, we would have to wash our hands uh, at my mom's house, and then and then when we come home, we have to wash our hands. So uh, wherever we left, we have to wash our hands. And when we came, came home, actually, when we came home, uh, you, you would have to go right in the shower. You'd have to take a shower when you got home from visiting? Yeah. And then, because okay. it would be nighttime, that, then we would just go, uh, go to sleep. Let me ask you this. How did she deal with baby Skye's poopy pants? Um, well, all the... Um, uh, See, we had the, since we live in, in the condo, uh, the, the uh, garbage chute was on the same floor. So uh, the, uh, if it was any garbage, it would, go, go, it would be, be thrown outside uh, right away. Everyone, let's stop and remember.